Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotuts.com. Today we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS5 to imitate the Major League Baseball logo. If you don't know which logo I'm talking about, I'll put a link in the video description to the logo image. Now this is what our final result is going to look like. As you can see, we have red on one side, blue on the other, uh, the Octotuts Octopus logo in the middle in white, and then Octotuts.com right here. All you need for this is something to put in the middle, just a picture of pretty much anything you're interested in. For this tutorial, I'll be using the Octotuts Octopus logo and that I have ready right over here. So that's going to be going right here and we're going to make it white. So with all that being said, let's get started. Let's click on File New and let's make a new image with a width of 600 pixels and a height of 350 pixels and press OK. And we want to have two colors already ready for us. The blue color we want has a hex code of 0A2769 and the red color we want has a hex code of FA002D. So let's have those ready and let's start off with the blue color. Let's make a new layer first so command shift N if you're on a Mac or control shift N if you're on Windows. Press OK to that and we're going to select our rounded rectangle tool right over here and we're pretty much just going to click and drag from the top left hand corner to the bottom right hand corner and we're going to make it like that. So now we have this and this is our final result. So now we just need the red part. So what we're gonna do is right click on that layer and click duplicate layer, press OK. Then we're gonna double click on that layer, go to color overlay and just select that red that we already had ready. And press OK, press OK. So now we have red on top, blue on the bottom and if you take a look at our original image we want the red to be on the left side and or we want the red to be on the right side and the blue to be on the left side. So let's go ahead and take our logo or whatever image you want to put and let's click and drag that over here. And I'm gonna hold command or click command T or control T if you're on a Windows machine and I'm going to just pretty much rotate this so it fits the image the way I want it to fit. Let's make it a little bigger. And there you go, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna press enter and we'll be done with that. I'm gonna move it a little bit to the left and that's good. So now what we wanna do is select the red layer. So right over here, we wanna select that layer, choose the eraser tool and pretty much just erase the, uh, the left part of the red layer. So now the blue is going to come out. And we'll use uh, our image as a point to show where we want to erase. We want to erase to the left of the image and leave the right of the image. We must just erase the rest, rest of this. And then the last thing we want to do is double click on our image and click on color overlay and just change that to white and press OK. So that's it. We're done. Now we could just add text wherever we want on our original image. I added octotoots.com in the left hand corner. And, but that's pretty much it. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys got a good result. This is octotoots.com and until next time, I will see you guys later.